the service providers around the world, virtual CPE and associated cloud VPN services are one of the biggest opportunities for the enterprise market. We see companies like AT&T, Orange Business Services, NTT in, in Japan, are all launching uh, and going ahead with these new, very competitive offers for the enterprise. Some of the benefits are pretty well known. You reduce truck roll, uh, don't have to send technicians, uh, and actually you can save a lot of money on uh, customer-prem equipment. We see a couple of models there. First is the uh, very thin, uh, smaller branch office where uh, you pretty much have a low-cost internet device. Uh, most of your VNFs and networking functions hosted centrally in the cloud. Uh, we also see this idea, this model, where you have what we call a, a kind of medium weight uh, device on premises, uh, capable of running an, uh, you know, uh, quite a few VNFs locally, pair that with some VNFs hosted in the cloud uh, to create the end-to-end -end service. I think the, the, the key issue and what brings it all together is that the enterprise customer, him or herself, is able to go in, uh, control the service provisioning uh, through a portal, through a GUI, to create and manage uh, their users, their network, how they want. Virtual CPE has become one of the top use cases and, and really it's addressing a fundamental innovation gap that service providers have. It's not that they have lack of ideas, they've got a lot of ideas, but the challenge is the amount of money uh, and the amount of time it goes to take those ideas and make them reality. And so what Virtual CPE tries to do is to kind of close that innovation gap, give them a, a rapid service development platform so they can quickly turn up services for their customers. This allows them to be more nimble in bringing new things to market, but also kind of decreases the time to revenue for new services. So actually, if you go back to late 2012, 12 service providers around the world wrote an NFE white paper, and that really started this movement. 2013 and 14, most service providers were really developing their plans for their next generation network and how their businesses were going to evolve. 2015 was really the year of proof of concepts. We actually believe that 2016 will be the year of production, actual virtual CPE solutions going into production. Whether it's AT&T and their network on demand, um, OBS uh, is uh, pull, putting out a cloud CPE type of solution, we really see really rapid adoption by service providers. The interesting thing though is that um, people like AT&T are going with a, an approach that has very much intelligence uh, at the premises, putting many services on a device that sits at the customer premises. Whereas others, uh, like Orange, are going more centralized. Uh, and, and there's a variety of different models uh, and, and Juniper's working with all of them to help them uh, deploy the model that fits their business best. Yeah, you know, the, the journey to virtual CPE is actually uh, on really three dimensions. There's certainly a technology element, and we, and we play in helping them get the right technology, have a virtualized network platform to deliver virtual CPE. But there are other uh, important elements as well. There's a, a business model element, and then there's also really a, a workflow and even skills transformation that has to happen within the operator. So from a technology perspective, you have to get the right foundation in place, and that means virtualizing as much as you can, putting in service orchestration to allow you to do point and click services, building your user portal. So there are a lot of technology elements that you have to take care of. But equally important, you have to think about the business model. The good news is virtual CPE will actually enable new business models, enable you to bring services up much more quickly, and so you can start doing pay-as-you-go services, whereas before, when you had a big physical uh, infrastructure investment for every service you brought to market, it was hard to justify doing that. And then operationally, again, it changes the game. Uh, you know, if an operator woke up tomorrow with the fully virtualized network, it would still be a challenge because they'd have to figure out how to operationalize that. All of their processes up to this point have been built around, you know, the typical truck rolls and deploying new physical equipment. So now that they can turn up uh, new services on the fly, that gives them a whole new set of uh, uh, capabilities and, and, and changes how their operational workflow goes. I'm really excited about where Juniper is with our virtual CPE solution. Uh, we actually call it cloud CPE and it, and it comprises of multiple different dimensions. Certainly from an infrastructure perspective, whether it's the network backbone, the data center and cloud environment, we can, we can deliver a very agile environment for customers from that perspective. But what we've also done is we've moved up the stack. So we have our Contrail uh, suite, which includes Contrail networking, which allows a virtualized network platform. We have um, Contrail Cloud, which brings in an OpenStack distribution and, and compute and storage uh, in a box, if you will. And then finally, Contrail Service Orchestration. And that's where you can do point and click, 
developing new services literally in 60 or 90 seconds. Uh, and that's what's most exciting because when you start to deliver security services or uh, content services uh, on the fly, it, it's really exciting. It, it really re uh, recognizes the vision that Virtual CPE has. Virtual CPE can really uh, have a variety of different services. Where, where Juniper plays most is around the security uh, portfolio. We virtualized our SRX platform, and so now you can d literally deliver VNS for firewall and intrusion detection and prevention, uh, anti-malware, anti-spam, so the whole security suite in a virtualized form factor. We've also virtualized our routing stack as well, uh, our virtual MX, and so we can bring a variety of different virtual services in addition to that though, um, customers can take advantage of other virtual services that are out there. You know, our platform works with any um, VNF that's available, anything that'll run on x86. Well, I think Juniper is in a great position. Uh, we talked a little bit about what we do from a technology perspective, and that's one important dimension. But I mentioned earlier that from a business perspective and operational perspective, there's change that's required to put in virtual CPE. From a business perspective, we actually run service creation workshops. So we sit down with a customer, um, not talking about technology per se, but talking about what elements uh, they need to grow their business and what services uh, might be valuable for them. And we can take all the learnings that we have from all the providers that we work with around the world. So I'm really excited about those workshops to help customers really understand the business side of virtual CPE. On the operational side, we also sit down and understand their current environment. We can do cloud CPE readiness assessments. We can do OSS, BSS integration assessments. So we can work with them very closely to figure out how their business is going to need to transform, what operational workflows are going to need to change, uh, what opportunities it brings uh, when you put in virtual CPE. So I think we, we really touch on all three of those dimensions of business, technology, and operations. And then maybe most importantly, Customers need to know that they can trust uh, a, a provider that they're working with, a vendor that they're working with. And um, Juniper recently was voted number one uh, in a light reading survey around most trusted network vendor for next generation services. So we feel like we're in a great position. We're excited about the journey that our service provider customers are on. Uh, and uh, I think there's going to be some really exciting things to happen in the, in the near future.